Welcome to the Science of Jiu-Jitsu on KnuckleJunkies.com. Let's jump right into our Jiu-Jitsu to MMA move of the week. This is a triangle from side control. I must have control over my opponent's head and have his arm into my armpit. When I grab his wrist, I can step over and roll straight to the triangle. Many times my opponent will put his arm up to defend against the mount. When he does, I can pin it to his stomach and as I step over, I drag my heel across the mat and turn to finish the triangle. This week, we'll be using a round table to discuss a variety of topics. Alright, welcome to KnuckleJunkies.com. Uh, today we're going to just do kind of a quick round table of a couple questions. Since we just got done with Naga here in St. Louis, um, I want to talk to Phil, who competed in the Naga. Phil, what was your experience like and how was it different from some of the other terms that you've competed in? Uh, I mean, Naga was a lot of fun this time. Uh, it's a little bit different because, uh, you know, it's more, more of a no-gi tournament, so you see guys from uh, other grappling disciplines that you don't get to see very often. Um, the rule set's a little bit different, so you know there's there's a different scoring system, and uh, you know the, the techniques that are allowed are, are a lot different than some tournaments. So uh, you have to kind of adjust your strategy accordingly. But uh, I had a lot of fun. It was a good time. Well ran. Definitely do it again. Excellent. Do you have anything on the horizon? What kind of tournaments in the area are you looking to do? Um, now, it's, now it's kind of the off season, it seems like. Uh, we won't have anything for the next few months, but uh, the state championships will be coming up again in February. You know, it's a great tournament. Um, plan on doing that, and uh, we'll see We'll see what other else uh, is around the area. So. Fantastic. And then also I have with me AJ Sisko. AJ, you fought twice uh, in the last month and uh, you're a seven fight veteran amateur MMA. Uh, what advice would you give to some of the guys that maybe have just fought once before or have an interest in fighting amateur here in Missouri? The thing about amateur fighters are they start training for a week and then they want to jump right in the cage. It's a long, long process. You need at least a year, if not more, of training before you just jump in there and everybody's just like, oh, most, most amateur fighters take a fight and then begin training. That's totally wrong. And bad. I also think that there's the jiu-jitsu in amateur is weak. I don't feel like anybody really trains jiu-jitsu. It's all no-gi, like, oh, we're just going to roll around and hope we land something. It's not strict jiu-jitsu in the gi, which I, I believe is very, very important. I'm only a blue belt, and I feel like my jiu-jitsu is pretty good for the area. And if you look at the top guys that are really making names for themselves and about ready to like, make that leap, they're blue belts. They're not white belts, you know, so I think that you need, first off, you need jiu-jitsu, and second off, you need lots of training, not just to take a fight on short notice and be like, oh, I guess I can go in there and punch the guy in the face until he quits, and it's a serious sport, and you can get injured very, very easily, you need to be taken serious, it's not a tough man sport, it's not, oh, I'm looking, look at how cool I am for my buddies type training. Sure. So, would you say that you just played a pretty big role in your success uh, lately? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, uh... I recently fought Nick Yates, who was 3-0, and destroyed everybody he fought, and I went in there and spinned him in the second round, which I, I wouldn't have been able to beat him. If I, if I did not come to JW's and start training, the fighter I was before I came to JW's, I wouldn't have beat him. And I also submitted uh, Tracy Green, which is a, a veteran of uh, amateur MMA. He had over 20 fights. I submitted him in the first round, and I wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't train him in JW. So it's the jiu-jitsu that's made the difference yes. for you in your career? Okay. And do you think that, that for amateur MMA, do you feel like you the guys have to train a lot of jiu-jitsu? Do they need just a base understanding? I feel like, yeah, they do. I feel like a lot of fighters don't, but they definitely, definitely should. I feel like it's very neglected, and I don't think they understand true jiu-jitsu. When somebody takes you down and smothers you, it's so hard to deal with. They just get in there and want to rock them, sock them robots. Sure. So with that in mind, MMA and Jiu-Jitsu, what guy out there right now has got the best Jiu-Jitsu in MMA? So Phil, I'll start with you. Um, I mean, I always like watching. Uh, I like watching Damian Maya a lot. I like. Uh, I like seeing. Uh, I'm kind of a purist. I enjoy seeing when uh, somebody uses only Jiu-Jitsu, uh, and he, he seems like his his best victories are the ones where. Uh, he, he specializes in that skill. Uh, Ronnie Ayaz is a lot of fun to watch well. And uh, Hodger Gracie, though, he's uh, he's coming along well, but he, he's fun to watch as well. As soon as he gets it to the ground, uh, pretty much over. 
AJ? For me, it's uh, Jacare Souza and uh, Damian Maya. Their their jiu jitsu is so so beautiful to me. It's so pure. Jacare just used jiu jitsu for the longest time. He just recently started working his hands, so he made it to strike force champion just with having jiu jitsu. He had very very basic striking, and then he really recently started working on striking. So I think his jiu jitsu is probably the best because he didn't work on anything else. He just beat everybody with jiu jitsu. Excellent. Well, thank you guys both for, oh, thank you. for spending some time today as we mess around in our geese that we wear all the time. And that's all we wear. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks a lot. Thank thanks you. So. <laughs> thanks for watching The Science of Jiu Jitsu on knucklejunkies.com. Pan, pan, dilemma. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long since I've been on camera. <laughs>